Well, more than 11 million Floridians voted in 2020, nearly 5 million, almost half of them, by mail, which was a record. And with much of the debate over the bill in that state focused on vote by mail ballots, state Democrats say it's an attempt to keep voters away. Earlier today, I spoke with Zach Montalaro. He's a campaign reporter with Politico about this Florida bill and its potential impact. Months ago during the election, Governor DeSantis uh, in Florida applauded how well his state did in the presidential election. So why is he saying all these changes are necessary now? Has there been any evidence of widespread voter fraud in Florida that would make this change of law necessary? Yeah, so that's the thing in Florida and elsewhere across the country. There has not been any evidence of widespread voter fraud. To be incredibly clear. Uh, this U.S. election, this election this year was free and fair by every expert opinion. Um, Florida has turned around remarkably from 2000 when, of course, it was, you know, a big uh, problematic spot in 2000 to have a very clear, very quick election. Uh, what Florida Republicans are saying is that we need this law to prevent what happened in other states and to build security. But nothing bad happened in other states. This was a remarkably uh, straightforward, remarkably well-run election, especially considering the pandemic. Uh, and these changes, these so-called security changes, um, uh, uh, local election officials there broadly uh, are not supportive of. But, you know, the, the reason why Democrats are so upset and so, so angry about this is, well, over the past cycle to cycle to cycle, Florida Republicans have been exceptionally good at voting via the mail. You know, it's been a very good turnout system for them. It was only this past election where Democrats really started to catch up. Um, of course, it didn't matter. Uh, president, uh, former President Trump rather won Florida running away with it. Uh, Democrats have suffered heartbreak after heartbreak after heartbreak. But a lot of these changes are coming only after Democrats got good at voting at the mail. And that's what really annoys Democrats. And that's what really hurts Democrats and makes them so angry. They're saying, well, you're not doing this because there was a problem. You're not doing this because you're raising even evidence of a problem. You're doing this because our voters now like this way of voting. And we saw, obviously, what happened in Georgia. Huge backlash in that state when they uh, took similar measures uh, in that state. Are we seeing similar backlash in Florida at all, even though we certainly know this is a national wave? These kind of bills are in dozens of Republican-led legislatures across the country. But in terms of Florida, any backlash like we saw play out in Georgia? Yeah, well, certainly you see the backlash among Democratic lawmakers, among civil rights groups, among voting rights groups. Uh, I don't think the business backlash is kind of remarkable in Georgia, in, in the wake of Georgia, how many businesses spoke out about the law. I haven't quite seen that yet. Of course, the law hasn't been signed by Governor DeSantis yet. He's expected to do so, but he hasn't signed it yet. Uh, but, you know, civil rights groups, Democrats, uh, voting rights groups are on watch, but we haven't seen that larger, um, you know, the big businesses in Florida kind of speaking out as a lot of big businesses in Georgia.